Amicia, I can't get to you. I can't believe we made it. Are the people nice here? Nobody will attack us here, Hugo. This town is under the protection of the Count of Provence. He's a very powerful lord. I must say, this is beautiful. Are you sure the alchemist is waiting for us? Well, Magister Vaudan told me he'd prepared a house for us. An entire house? Yes. The Order is very old. They own houses and much, much more. They built your mother's laboratory and even the Chateau d'Ombrage, remember? Yes. It's nice they give us a house. That's because you're very important to them. Would His Majesty allow us to enter the city by his side? I allow. Medicine! Pull. Fresh fish from our rivers! this morning! Is that a fair? Go take a quick look with him. Thank you. The house is in the upper part of town. It has a phoenix weather vane. Understood. And be very careful. Find anything you like? I like everything here. <laughs> Come, there must be plenty of other things to see. Where do we start? Well, what do you want to see? Everything. We'll try. <laughs> so good. Hey, come on. Try a little piece. Go on. Oh, yum. <laughs> you like it? Yes, but it's not piggies, right? Um, come on. Let's go see the rest. Yes. That was good. I'm hungry now. Let's keep going before you ask for more. The Count Victor of Ar welcomes you all to the yearly fair of St. John. Enjoy goods from our region and beyond at the market. Make deals at our fish auction and try your skills in a free session of a shooting game. Have you seen? What? The people here. They're smiling. Uh, <laughs> it's true. Oh, look up there. The house with the weather vane. That's ours. Oh, right above the market. Yes. The view will be amazing. Brushes and combs from Firenze. Try them. My lady, why not change your hairstyle? Thank you, but I like it like this. Oh, good for you. A woman's hair is her righteous crown. Beautifully said. Your hair is nice like that. Well, thank you, sir. This wine. A present for your father, maybe. He's dead, but he loved this wine. Well, he was a very fine man then. He was. Thank you. Cistercian wine. This is some really beautiful furniture here. I had a closet like that in my room. I like to hide in it. <laughs> of course you did. Just look, look at these flowers. Look, look at herbs. these colours. Gorgeous Bugs. reds. Oh, yes. Oh, marigolds! Primroses! Oh, you know your rebellion. Only flowers. My mummy taught me. We kept them in a book at home. Do you want to buy flowers then? Thank you, but we like to pick them in the wild. It's our thing. I understand. Enjoy. Yes! Come, let's see the rest. Sure. The finest. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you. I make them. Do you know how to play? No, I never took the time to learn. But she's a good shot. 
I could play. I'd love to. One day I'll learn. Well, his parents must be dragons. Let's go see our house. It should be right up here. Oh, we can share my room if you want. Don't you want your own? Mm, I don't know. But that way we could invite each other to our rooms. Yes, I love this place. <laughs> Me too. Oh, they're playing music. Oh, I can't see. Hey, you know what? I'll put you up on my shoulders, all right? Oh, yes, please. Here we go. <laughs> You're feeling all right up there? Yes, I can see everything. Yay! <laughs> yeah! Yes, but it's great. They're so good. All right, young man, we should go see that house. Oh, already? Yes, Mother must be waiting for us. I wish we could stay a bit more. We'll come back. Things. Everything that's happening outside. I think they do know. They just feel safe here. You will too. Hey, I'm going to put you down for a bit. <clears throat> Let's pick up the base. Yes. I can't wait to see the house. I wonder how big it is. I just hope they have real beds. I hope I can see the market from my room. A king's room, of course. Of course. <laughs> Someone's had a long day. Hey, you're back. So how was it? They've got everything. <laughs> it's true. We'll have to go back all together. Sure. We need some fresh herbs. Look at that. I think we can call it home. Yes. Home. I haven't said that word in a while. I'm glad we came. <sighs> and I think someone needs to take a nap. I'm not tired. <laughs> sure. Let's go see inside. This is our door. Ooh. It looks quiet. And it's less hot here. It's nice. Ready to come inside? Yes, lead the way. We're home, Hugo. Our new home. Let's take a look around. Mm. Yes. All right, we'll do that later. Mother, where's Hugo's room? He's exhausted. Upstairs, the bed is ready. Thanks. Come on, you sleepy beast. Come with me, Sia. Come where? The island. He'll be healed there too. Healed? Well, that would be nice, I'm sure. It will be. You're thinking too much. Sometimes it's better just to trust your feelings. I'm trying, but I... I get stuck in the logic of it. Substances obey natural law. The macula does too. You don't need logic, Lucas. You just need to be human. Maybe... I'm just not very good at being human. You are. This is why you have doubts. Amicia! He had a 
a nightmare. <laughs> the macula. It's the shock. What happened today must have woken it. We had six months of respite after he passed the second threshold. But the balance of his blood is very delicate. Amicia, go with Lucas. Magister Vaudan is somewhere in this town. Find him and tell him to come quickly. Right away. Amicia. I know. We'll be careful. It's because of those farmers. I should never. Oh. It's not your fault. How can you be so sure? You can't control what happens in his blood. The macula keeps evolving, pushing the carrier through different thresholds. Will this Magister Vodan really help? The Order has been studying the macula for centuries. If they can't, I don't know who can. Lord, protect him. Why hasn't Vodan shown up already? I think he's just being discreet. The Order works like this. Someone must know about him. Let's ask around. Here, a town guard. I'll ask him. Uh, hello? Excuse me. Would you know the whereabouts of Magister Vaudin? Uh, I've heard of a Sir Vaudin, not a Magister. Try the marketplace. There's a couple of florists there. I think they deal with him from time to time. Thank you. Good. That's a start. I should have known. Of course he doesn't go by his order's title publicly. We came by the florist earlier. It's somewhere around this marketplace. Hello again. Oh, it's you. Looking for flowers for the little one? Actually, I'm looking for Sir Vaudan. I believe he's one of your clients. He's my husband's client. He's the one who deals in medicinal herbs. Oh. But Morton should be right by the fountain. Just tell him I sent you. He's wearing a brown tunic. Brown tunic. Thank you for your help. Let's hope he tells us. He will. Excuse me, sir. Your wife sent us? Oh, what does she want now? I'm busy cleaning this mess. It's not for her. We must find Sir Voda. <laughs> Him? Well, he doesn't like to be bothered. Just like me. Listen, my brother is very sick. We need him immediately. Oh. All right, all right. I don't know precisely where, but I think he lives close to the arena, down there. Don't tell him I sent you. Don't worry. Thank you. Right. Let's not waste time. The arena district. That's a lot of houses. How are we going to find him? There's mischief in the air. I can feel it. Yes. That's why I keep the children inside. Slum. The order's not poor, so what would a magister be doing here? Probably hiding. Probably. Amicia, that symbol on the wall. The order? Yes, he's in here. No one gets in. The arena is off limits. Why is that? Because the Count of Provence said so. Get going, please. Listen, I really need to pass. It's all right. Come. We'll go around the arena. <sighs> Now's not the time to argue with soldiers. Let's look around. You're right. Sorry. There's a door up there. Yes. So. Ready to break the law? Come on.
Is it? The bite, yes. They've locked the arena down. They let them die here. It's starting all over again. Not starting. Spreading. Hugo. We brought it here. Let's find Magister Voda. If he's not dead already. I can't believe they left him to rot here. These people look poor. They must be from the slum outside. How come nobody noticed their disappearance? Maybe nobody cares. Maybe. Here, another symbol. Well, let's get in then. You think the symbols will lead to him? Yes. Look, an opening up there. There must be a way to climb up. This could help. I'll give you a hand. If Odan's here, he's in trouble. He knows the bite. He must be avoiding the sick. Lucas, if all these people here were bitten, it means... <gasps> Maybe not. A sick person could have brought it inside the city. Time in the world, just talk to me. Please let me that go. Brute is not a soldier, but he's dressed as one. Not a single coin. No, how many are there? Old man. If I find him, I could ask for a reward. Amicia, he'll see us. I'll make him move. Thank that bastard cow for letting you die like a dog. Damn, that's an ugly death. What did I hear? It's nothing. So? Any sign of the dog? Oh. I saw something. Gotta be sure. Stay out of sight. Guess I'm imagining things.
I better see what's that sound. Nothing to report. Huh? Something's there. some sort of half cart here but it's not high enough i think they were moving the bodies with it Up there, it's, like... Ugh. it's full of bodies. Oh, let's push it. Massacre. We brought it here. We condemned them. It's still going on in Guyen. It's already spreading. Yes, but they would have seen it coming. It wouldn't have changed a thing. dead already. Like it's one step ahead of us. Yes, but none of them look devoured. Look, a 
think they were keeping count of the dead. They left a knife. It's stuck. Come on. No. Well, let's keep going. Through there. You don't use blades against people. I did. I had no choice. A blade is silent and quick. It's what we need now. All right. It's up to you. If these people fell ill, it means some must have been bitten. I've seen no signs of attack. Not yet. Anyway, let's go. 